In the last exercise, we changed font color and we also changed font size. And so your document should look something like what I've got here. Now, what I want to show you in this exercise is if I click and put my cursor right here and I press enter to make a new paragraph, you'll notice that Dreamweaver will automatically add a space between the paragraphs. That's normal. That's what's supposed to happen. But there might be situations where you want to start a new paragraph but you don't want this space. So I'm going to just click backspace. Okay. And if I wanted to start a new paragraph without making a brand new space, I have to do the following. I have to press shift and hold down shift then press enter and you'll see that that creates a new paragraph but it didn't create a new space this is called adding a line break okay and I also want to show you something else that's a bit peculiar about using Dreamweaver if I click in between first and heading like right here I put my cursor here and I press the space bar nothing happens Okay, Dreamweaver doesn't let you add more than one space between words. So no matter where I click here in the paragraph, I cannot add more spaces. However, if you want to override that feature, what you have to do is place your cursor in between two words press and hold down the control and shift button and then press the space uh, by pressing the space bar while holding down control and shift you are able to add more than just one space in between words okay so that's something that you're going to have to get used to when you're using Dreamweaver. So now that we've learned about line breaks and adding spaces in between um, words, those are called non-breaking spaces, uh, we can proceed to the next exercise.